the current coronavirus rules for sheltering in place are making it tough for a lot of us. But those that live aboard their boats say those rules aren't just tough. They're keeping food off their tables. News 8's Sean Stiles spoke with some of them about what they want. Restrictions from the coronavirus are keeping waters along the San Diego coastline empty, but boaters in San Diego Bay say those restrictions are keeping them from putting food on their table. The Harbor Patrol keeps an eye on San Diego Bay to make sure the shelter in place is followed. My husband and I would like to be permitted to go out and fish for dinner. Kate Groff and her husband are small business owners and say fishing is part of the way they feed their family. We'd like to supplement with fish fresh fish that we catch ourselves. She believes by allowing them to go out and fish, it would help keep them from the general population and away from the coronavirus. We have a water maker that can make 500 fresh gallons of water. We can catch our own food. We never even have to set foot on land if we don't want to. She feels the rules are unfair. We have worked all our lives for this lifestyle and now it's being taken away. The very boats that are our refuge are now becoming our prisons. Sherry Zolna of Zolna Yacht supports her fellow boaters. You rather send them to the local supermarket or Costco? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this does not make sense to me. It's a community that needs attention right now. Bill Taylor is a wildland firefighter and has a different problem. I take my boat to my next duty station, which will be in Oregon. And according to the rules now, I can't even leave the marina. The boaters on the three-day anchorage are being asked to move every three days while being told to shelter in place, an oxymoron. And a final word? We're just asking the county to ease up a little bit, to just walk it back a little. Give us a chance to resume a small part of our, our, of our regular lives. Groff and her fellow boaters will now wait to see if they can get an exemption from the coronavirus restrictions. Sean Stiles, News 8.